Okay, welcome to the second part of Twitter Math 14. Come on in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a problem that our uh, teacher friend on Twitter gave to her kids, and it's a pretty challenging problem. Yeah. But I'm just interested to see how you would approach this. Okay? Mm -hmm. So which is larger, 79 times 25 or 75 times 29? Ooh. Okay. You want to well, partner? We could try factoring it into prime and see which factorization is bigger. Ooh, interesting idea. Okay. So let's see. 79, what does that factor into? Well... Mm, is it divisible by 2? No, it's not divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? No, not 4, not 5. Okay. Not 6. Why not 6? Well, 6 it has to be even. Right. Okay. Do you remember, how did we figure out which prime number we have to check up to? Well, until the square is bigger, so we have to check up to 8. Well, because 8 times 8 is 64. Yeah, so that's not bigger. Which one's bigger? Well, se 7 times 7 is 49, but, so, we have to check up to 8. 8, is, eight times 8 is 64, though, so that's not bigger than 79. Well, 60... So we have to check up to 9 times 9 then. Yeah. yeah. So 9. Okay, so we've checked up to 6. No, does, six. does 7 go in? Wait, 7 goes into 70, but 7 doesn't go into 9. So okay. not 8, because it's not even. 9 doesn't... 9? No. no. Okay, so 79 is prime. Hmm. But that's okay. But, but we know 25 is divisible by 5. It's 5 squared. Okay. So... 25 is 5 times 5. It's 5 to, it's 5 squared. Okay, great. So what is 79 times 25 when you factor it into primes? It's 79 to the 1 times 5 squared. Okay, awesome. Now let's factor this into primes. What's, what's uh, this? What is 75? 75 it's five time five times five times something. Yeah, it's five times something. Mm -hmm. Can you figure it out? Five times. Um, not twenty-five. It has to um, fifteen. Good job. Five and fifteen. It's five times fifteen. So seventy-five is. And um, fifteen is three and five. Okay. So it's. 5 squared times 3 to the 1. 3 to the 1 times 5 squared. Okay, what about 29? 29, it's not divisible by 2, not by 3, but not by 4, not 5, not 6 because it's not even, not 7 is then. Wait, we don't, we don't have to check up this high. Yeah, this is prime. So 75 times 29 is 3 to the 1 times 5 squared times 29. So this is what we're trying to compare. Which one of these is larger? Well, f the 5 squared is the, the same, but this, um, that, this doesn't have a 3. Right, it doesn't have a 3. The 5 squareds are the same, right? So. Well, but this one has a 79 that has a 29. And a three, don't forget. And a three, so it looks like that's bigger. Okay, how would we figure it out, though? They both have a five squared. I like this approach, actually. Well... They both have a five squared, so what do we have to check next? Which is which is larger? What two things do we have to compare? Well, we have to... Do we have, I think it's the, lar the largest power of each. Mm, not quite. We have to figure out if 79 is bigger than three times 29. Because that's what's left after the five squares. So which is larger, 79 or 3 times 29? Hmm. Well, we could try multiplying it. Okay, 3 times 29. You want to do that? Well, we could do 3 times 20 plus 3 times 9. Okay. So it's 60 plus 27. And th so this is bigger. Why? Because it, well, be because... 3 times 20 is 60, and then 3 times 9 is 27. 
and 60 plus 27 is 87. Ah, which is bigger than 79. This is a great approach, sweetie. Yeah. Friday, this is a, this is a really, really good approach. It's tough, right? Some tough factoring. We had to figure out how to factor this, which was not easy. No. But you know what? It was, you didn't have to multiply it all out. No. And you could still figure this was bigger because they had some common factors. Yeah. Great job, sweetie. Great job. Proud of you.